Good morning, Titans. And welcome to the show. Today we'll talk with a few of this year's top football players. And Mr. Mola has a shout out from the Titan Tutor Club. Don't go anywhere because we've got all this and much more. Coming up next, only on your channel 5, Titan TV News. Today is Friday, November 18th. I'm Haley Donahue. And I'm Melissa Everett. So, Melissa, are you sad that football season's over? Yes. Friday nights feel so weird now that there's no Friday night football games to go to with my friends. I know, but they did have a great season. Ch Channel 5's Alex Tashian was able to talk to a few of the top players from the football season in this week's Sports Corner. Hi, Titans. Today we're here with senior varsity football players Markel Vines, Jarvis Watkins, and Keyshawn Sinclair to talk about the closing of the football season. I think we're all curious to know, with football being a major part of your life, what, what's your plans for after graduating? Um, my plan for after graduation is to um, maybe get a football scholarship, go to a good college, and then um, graduate college with my master's and uh, do all that. Uh, my plans are, of course, to go to college, uh, and I plan on majoring in athletic training. If I get a scholarship, I'll take it. Uh, go to college, of course. Um, graduate from college, play sports, hopefully. Proud opportunity to play. How has playing football for all four years of high school affected your life? Um, it's changed me in a way. Um, I've uh, become more mature and um, I've, I've grown up so much. Along with what he said, also matured and uh, uh, gained a lot of friendship. Um, I've learned a lot like how to handle things when things are going rough and when stuff isn't always perfect in your life and how to deal with it and just get through it. What lessons, if any, do you believe that you will take from football and use later in your life? Um, lessons, um, I think uh, the more of like a team, becoming a team player and all that stuff later in life, um, that's the lesson I learned, become more of a team player. Mine is uh, that you're not an individual. Everything that you do in life is like you'll need help and support. Um, basically the same thing. Not everything's perfect. And just to live life and just... You don't have so many opportunities to do stuff, so just take advantage of it. Thanks, guys, for coming in today. We were also able to talk to head varsity, varsity coach Matt Ray and ask about what he thinks of 2011 season went. Um, no, I was I was happy with the season overall. Um, uh, I think going into any season, uh, my goal is always make sure that we're competitive no matter what personnel we have. Um, and I think we had obviously we had some good players. Um, we were all we're in. Uh, Pretty much every game. Um, the last one got a little bit uh, out of control on us, a little bit got out of hand. Um, but uh, you know, we were ranked for you know three or four of the ten weeks um, in the top twenty to be. Um, you know, we had a chance to play for a championship uh, at the end, which is always a, a goal of any team, no matter what what sport it is, to make sure that you have an opportunity to play for the championship. And I and I and I thought that our kids competed. I thought we got better. I think we laid. Uh, more building blocks, so to speak, of, on the foundation that we need to to be successful and to build this into one of the better programs. But overall, you know, I think that you know we're, we're definitely moving in the right the direction. The seniors have been a, uh, a huge, um, a huge part of that. Um, obviously, this class is the first four-year group. They are with us as freshmen. They continually got better every year. A lot of these seniors were with us as sophomores on varsity when we had our first varsity season. You know, but the truth of the matter is this: in a three-year period on varsity. And the seniors have contributed. We've 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 had a winning record every year, which is not something that I don't even know uh, a lot of programs can boast in the first three years a winning record every year. The fact is, is we made playoffs two two years. They have two playoff appearances, and we have a, we have a league championship. Um, so in that in three year period, that's a pretty that's a pretty good uh, resume for the seniors to take with them as they go. And obviously, obviously, you know, leaving their print here is something that um, those are things that we have to build on to to uh, excite the younger kids that are coming into the program. But these are kind of the expectations that, hey, we plan on winning. We plan on, on winning um, in big chunks. Um, we, too, plan on playing for championships. And three, we, we plan on always being in the playoffs and making runs in the playoffs. So, you know, I, I, I'm very thankful for the group of kids that, that uh, are graduating this year. 
And um, I know that they're going to be very successful in their lives in both sports and just in their life. And, um, you know, I, we, we as, a, a tight, as a football program, a Titan football program here, are, are very uh, thankful to have had an opportunity to uh, work with those kids. All I have for you today, have a great break. Now back to Haley and Elizabeth. Student government member Chelsea Lockett is here with this week's ASB Minute. Okay, today is the last day to buy a class t-shirt, so everybody go support your class and purchase one of those. This is one of the best ways that you can support your class by their fundraisers, and regardless of whether or not you like the shirt, it's just raising money for your class and raising money for other activities that you enjoy doing. So everybody go buy a class shirt. Other than that, just have a good break and see you when we get back. This is the second year that the Titan Tutor Club has had attendance from surrounding elementary schools and has greatly increased. Here with more information about how you can help these kids is Mr. Randy Mola. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Mr. Mola and this is our Titan Tutor Club. Uh, this has been going on, this is year two of Titan Tutor Club and we are in need of tutors. Uh, some cool things about it, you can come out and help kids who really need help and we're talking kids from all over the neighborhood, different schools, uh, different age ranges too. Um, we're also talking about students who go here at Antelope who need help as well in every subject matter. Also, you get community service credit for it. So please, come by. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, 2.45 until 4. 3.45ish. And uh, it would really help us a lot if you guys could come out and help us. As you can see, we've got a lot of kids. So please, come out and help us. Appreciate it. Another semester isn't that far away, so all you seniors better make sure to stay on top of your deadlines. We will have counselor Erica Joseph in after break to give us a breakdown on applying for FAFSA. As you all should know, the Antelope High School Choir has entered in the Glee Give a Note giveaway. Choir member Aaliyah Orr has an update on the, our standings in the competition. This Glee Give a Note contest thing to earn money for our program. And we sent in this video like telling what we needed, like why we needed the money, and then a short little clip of us singing. And then that made it into phase one where we, people like voted for us and that's why we were asking for all your guys' votes. And then we made it past phase one into the second round recently and a panel of judges is going to sit down and like look at our video and see if it qualifies and then if we get past that stage then we'll win money so hopefully we do. But Have you noticed that we're almost done with the semester? There's only 15 more school days left before we're done. So make sure to stay up on all of your assignments. Yeah I know it says it right there. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving, Haley? Yeah, of course I do. I'm going to hang out with my family and catch up some, on some much-needed beauty sleep. Not to mention all the food. I can't wait for turkey. Yeah, I know. That's probably the best part of Thanksgiving. Well, that's all we have for you today. Titans, have a great day. And an even better week off. See you after break. Bye. Oh, and I hope you enjoy this amazing edition of the Titan Times. Bye. Bye.